there is a consumerization of healthcare devices, things that were previously restricted to doctors, things like heart rate sensors, connected scales, smart blood pressure monitors, and the technologies to share this information across, and even the analytics capacity are now in the hands of end consumers. And in the fields of uh, non-communicable diseases, everybody is going to be able to have early diagnosis sooner at a cheaper cost. So remote monitoring was previously restricted to the most acute patients. You suddenly open up the possibility of following people that are only at risk of being sick. It's a bit like the, the toothbrush of new technologies that have just come about. Medicine only became popular and reimbursed when doctors were able to demonstrate benefits to your health, privacy, and that you could trust your doctor. Right? This sort of trust needs to be built exactly in the same way for digital health platforms. To build this trust means securing data. You can secure data through technologies, obviously, uh, things like encryption, things like uh, vulnerability assessments, and you can secure it through regulations. In wellness services, I mean, as, a, as an end user, you could decide to, to enroll in a, a fitness app, um, maybe a weight loss app, and these are among the, the most popular ones. You might be only mildly ill and yet you might engage in a diabetes prevention app, a hypertension prevention app. People are incentivized to use digital health platforms if they see the, the practical benefits for themselves. In the short term, it's about form factor. It's about do I like the devices? Is the information cool? Is it fun? Can I show off with it? This effect doesn't last very long. But in the midterm, you need incentives. You need to give people a reason to sustain this. So you need to demonstrate the, the benefits. So it might be that I'm losing weight. It might be that it's telling me that I'm healthier. It might be that the experience is gamified, uh, that I have rewards. So you have digital health platforms that give cash to people. It might be intrinsic rewards. Uh, I'm part of a community. With devices, analytics, or artificial intelligence, well, you're reducing the number of people who need to follow people remotely, and therefore you're reducing the cost. And again, you're opening up the, the possibility for this to, to scale very much.